Trying something a little different in the video today. I just made a purchase. This is a Holtz Forma. One of them saws made of 100% Chinesium. I think the Chinesium's getting stronger with this saw. I've been doing these saws for five, six years, I think, somewhere in there. I've noticed every year something's better. Something is better every time. Uh, some of them first ones, boy, you, you really had to throw a lot of good parts. You can take these Chinese saws, the whole formas, and if you want to put a good quality crank in them, uh, good quality uh, top end, you've got a good saw. It's just there were things they had to deal with. The recoils were, uh, would fail occasionally. The coils originally would. They don't do that anymore. Uh, in fact, I haven't had a recoil of one of these fail in quite a long time. The the top, the chain brake handle would break. That was another thing. The minute you popped it. Uh, on the early ones, they got better. They got a little better. They used to be gray. Now they're black. I like it. I, I, I know that's not real carbon fiber. It's, it's, uh, uh, hydro depth, but you know what? It has a nice finish. It is an exceptionally nice finish. I love the touch. They did the trigger and the operator safety lever and the side cover. They put West Coast dogs on the bugger. Now, you got to watch how they word things. They're claiming this is a Walboro carb. It looks like a Walboro. It says Walboro on it. It comes with a nice tool pouch. In the tool pouch, you have enough stuff to put your handle on and your dogs. to give you actually a fairly decent scratch. A little carb adjustment screwdriver. We're going to start this in a few minutes. Both Allen wrenches you need for your saw to finish the assembly, which it comes without the uh, dogs on. It comes without the uh, the uh, full rat bar. I'm surprised it came with a full bart rat bar. Um, you can look these up on their site and see see the price on them. No big deal. But let's let's just take a couple minutes and really take a look at this thing. And then we'll just go ahead and see if this thing runs. We'll probably start it, let it warm up. I'll uh, visit with you a few minutes while it's cooling down. And then the second time we start it, I'll, I'll start adjusting the saw. And unlike the OEM, they have uh, 372s. They have the knot built in. You got a wing knot. So there's something you can lose. OEM stuff fits these saws 100%. That's one thing I'll guarantee you. They really do. Now, I'm going to take a hard look, and I'm going to carry you with me, and you'll see what I'm seeing. See, they say that's a wall barrel. I happen to know that I, I just doubt. Did they or didn't they? I'll tell you something about the Chinese carburetors, what was going on with the first ones. They didn't work very good if they worked. That was five years ago, four years ago. Then you got where that half of them worked pretty good. The ones that was put on the saws, the saws were tested. They worked. They did. They, did. they at least worked. They functioned. Did they make the most horsepower? No, they didn't. They did not. I noticed two years ago... I had a saw here of a local fellow's and his carburetor because he'd used so much freaking gas with ethanol in it. He's a logger. That it, there wasn't no, no hope for it. I thought his darn crank seals was bad, if you know the truth. I couldn't, you couldn't do nothing with it. I rebuilt his carburetor several times. I, I, I did everything. Well, I, in an act of desperation, you need to sell the next morning. I had two choices, take a carburetor off one of my personal saws and put on, which I will definitely do for a friend. You would too. But I said, let's try this Chinese one. So 
I showed the Chinese carburetor on there. This is two years ago. It's still running on a saw. It runs great. In fact, I was dumbfounded. It actually worked pretty good. Now, here is why we have this saw here. Because they've stepped their game up, and it looks nicer. They're claiming that it has a uh, meteor piston, caber rings. There's a good start, guys. Italy nickel cell treated uh, cylinder. So it's a nickel cell cylinder. Uh, when we take it apart, we'll find out how good it is. NGK spark plug. Now, is that uh, Chinese NGK copy or is it the real deal? They've got so good at it, you can't tell. Okay. Well, I'm building this as a strong logging saw. I want all the components in the inside of it that makes it live a long time. I probably will do a big bore with a pop-up in this and a good quality crank that I, that I know and trust. That's probably what I'll do. And... I'm going to let one of you guys buy it if you want it. If you don't, I'll keep it. But I think I might let one of you guys just buy this. We'll use it as a little bench test saw, build it. A common build that I do for loggers. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, somebody that's got a lot of experience with a chainsaw isn't going to get hurt with it. That's what I want to do. But I think it's really kind of cool. I really do. This, boy, you'd swear that was carbon fiber. You really, really would. It's not. If something happens where one of you guys email me at ironhorsechainsaw, ironhorsechainsaw at gmail.com, if there, before I start building this saw, if there's a particular way you want it, just email me. I can build it however you want. Uh, we have you guys know different types of builds that I do, and you don't have to have a full wrap. I've got some really nice. Uh, in fact, I got two new uh, Husqvarna bars that are, are OEM Husqvarna uh, for handlebars. If you don't want this one, that was one problem I hated about the early ones. The diameter was a little funky on them. I just couldn't explain it. It just, you know, if you've logged as many years as I have, when you grab a hold of a saw, you know that it don't feel right. I didn't like the handles on the gas tank. Now I can't tell the difference. They're exact. They've really worked hard to produce something worthy. But these handlebars are very strong now. Shocking, isn't it? Them early ones, you just... You just, you could, I could just pull them. It was bad. So I was just tossing them. Or I'd give them some to different guys for an emergency, get you through the day kind of thing. Which loggers appreciate that. But I had one guy tell me, he says, well, geez, he says, my handlebar, uh, it just for lunch, uh, broke. And it was a tree, you know, just rolled on him and knocked saw out of his hand, broke his handlebar. He said, I got thinking that you, I had that. Uh, one you give me, which was Holzfarna. He said, I put it on at lunchtime, ate my sandwich, went back to work. Everything was good. He says, by 3 o'clock, he says, it was bent backwards about an inch. Because, you know, when you're bore cutting, you're pulling on him and stuff. So I, I found that quite comical. They even give you a good book. And uh, impressive, really. Now, I'm going to tell you a little trick. Uh, it has all the information in this book that you need for this chainsaw. Um, they want you to run 25 to 1 mixing this. I ain't doing that. Uh, especially knowing we're going to take it apart. Uh, 40 to 1 Amsoil Saber is what I've been running for the last nine months. With very, very good luck. I, I, I'm quite, a, I've always been a fan of AMS oil products. I really have. Now, that don't mean that ain't only good oil out there. And we all know that, right? So, let's see how many pulls before it actually starts. And what I need to do 
is get. Make sure I got a screwdriver to adjust it. Let's try the screwdriver that comes with the cat. That'd be interesting. That is a 100% Chinese. Before I even start, I want to make sure it fits. Oh my goodness sakes. They've got the nice big heads uh, on the uh, uh, the uh, uh, screws. Uh, where the, like the old 372s had. They had that nice big head that was tapered. Um, it, and you could get your screwdriver in when it was running real easy. This one appears to be the same way. So, I'm going to give this the best tamp I got the first time. One, two, three, four, seven. Muffler. Oil pumps pumping quite good. Had enough power to take one of the uh, nuts off. Probably wasn't very tight, was it? Guys, it's a pretty saw. Quite honestly, it's, it's remarkable. When I seen the pictures of my I thought, oh, gee, that's kind of cute. And I've known about them for a little while. But, I actually got this one on Amazon, and it was here in two days. Now, the one thing I can tell you, that long wrench with the full wrap, the back screw, you can't, you can't use this very good. So, I don't, we don't use full wraps around here anyway. If I kept this saw, I would have just a regular bar on it and be done with it. And, uh. I has started, it runs. I'm not used to a quiet saw uh, like this. This is really quiet. I'm going to build it for one of you. If you want it, just email me and we'll discuss it. Uh, I'm going to be easy. Uh, I, I'll tell you what prompted me. I built these enough that with the right parts, you have a heck of a good saw that runs a long, long, long time. But they, uh, they're they just they're just the type of thing that, is there a stigma or isn't there? Well, here's a stigma for me. Go on eBay. That is what I use for a meter of what a saw is. They've got stupid. And you look at 372s and look at the price of them. For a used one that's had a snot run out of it, it's all banged up. So if you want to make a pretty saw, you got to buy a lot of parts. You really do. So 
for less money than something that's nice on eBay by a long ways, I could build, hey, take a brand new saw. I could build it exactly the way I want it. I've built so many 372s, I know exactly what they need. I know every part that failed on the OEMs. And we're going to find out on this one what I don't like when I take it apart. We have other saws to build first. We do. Um, I've got to finish trains, 372. Uh, I thought I had the bearing chair train, by the way. They're not. I will have them. I think they're going to be here in the morning. And so I'd like to do a, a bearing assembly video, how I put bearings in the saws and uh, call that really good. But I have other videos that I want to make today. So this is going to be a 15 minute video. That's what it's going to be. And let's go on to the next project. Goodbye.